The first one that we're going to be playing tonight is A Webbing Journey. A Webbing Journey is a physics-based sandbox game where you play as a cute little spider, explore a giant house, create crazy web structures, and complete oversized chores in creative and fun ways. Developed and published by Fire Totem Games, and release date is currently TBD. But I will put that game also in the chat. And of course there's a demo because that's what we're going to be playing tonight. So if you like what you see, or if you like what you see and you don't like how I'm playing and you want to see if you can do better, be my guest. <laughs> All right, let's get that. There we go. Oh, that's loud. Why is that so freaking loud? Holy crap. So if you've got arachnophobia, so you can also play as a ball. So we're going to play as a spider. I apologize if anybody out there has arachnophobia. First thing I'm going to do is lower this audio. Let's, let's get that music down. I always have a hard time with that. I, I end up with a lot of streams where you can barely hear me. Or some people might actually prefer that. Okay, so... Pick up my controller here. This is working with my dual shock. so... Let's play. Now let's experience the tutorial. If your game crashes when loading a level, please enable the arachnophobia mode in the accessibility settings. Arachnophobia mode? What? Or was that what we selected at the main screen? So we've got a zoom, sprint mode is hold or toggle, water walking, web shoot mode. Okay, so some gameplay settings here to just fine tune your style. Graphics, qualities, medium, that's fine. There's shader, okay. Accessibility. Oh, that's okay. That's what that is. Yeah, that is what we selected at the be very beginning. And audio. Okay, that's where we were. All right, let's play a spider. And what's this? Why can't we select that one? It may not be part of the demo. Let's start the tutorial because I only played enough to make sure it would work. And now that music is way too low. Hang on a second. I'm really fighting with this. Okay, I think that's all right. All right, so... Oh, you can use mouse and keyboard for this, of course. So this is our little guy. Little black and white spider. Can we zoom? Okay, so to zoom, I have to use R3. And I can't, like... I can't determine exactly how much I zoom, just clicking it will choose between four different zoom settings. So let's go with this. This seems like a good happy metal. <laughs> oh yeah, he's a spider. Wait, how can I... Can I walk upside down in here? Hmm. That's... You know what? I may be being too picky. But I thought maybe I could just walk and then immediately come underneath and just... Yeah, kind of like that. I don't know how I did that. But anyway, let's move on because we've got a friend here that looks like they've got a quest. It's another spider. Named... Arnold. <laughs> it's it's funny because the name Arnold and then you hear the voice and it says Oh that's cute. Hey, long time since the last training session. <laughs> Today we'll do the silky power workout. I'm, I'm probably going to reach a point where that voice is st uh, stops being funny. But I don't know when that's going to be. Don't worry, we'll start up with a gentle warm-up training. Okay. 
Let's go do a simple walk and meet Tipsy at the next island. Not showing us exactly where. That's handy. It's a little... A little choppy, but I'm wondering if that's my system or not. Okay, well, let's see what sprint looks like. So this is walk, and this is... Wait, what? Oh, it's toggle. Okay, so left, uh, press L3 to... This is sprint. Okay. And this is walk. All right, cool. And we can also jump. All right, so this must be Tipsy. He's got a collection of hats. And what is all this gear? Is that a crown? He's got a crown, a plunger, and three hats. Why? Let's find out. <laughs> that was a pretty good walk. Time to whip on your sports outfit. What? Change your look. Pause the game and change your outfit. Uh, wardrobe? Oh, what do we want to go with? Blue, okay. And leg color? Hmm. I don't know. I'm never good at picking colors. I, I'm too indecisive and it just stops mattering to me. Let's go with, um... Hmm. Purple? Maybe like a deep purple? No. I guess that's as close as we can get. Wait, what? Oh, I have to... There we go. Joint color. Ooh. I actually kind of like that. Alright. And web color. I want something that I should be able to see. Let's go with red web. All right. And we could also randomize if you don't care. Yeah. Oh, actually, we kind of... We look a little bit like him. But whatever. Nice. I like it. It's very similar to what you've got, buddy. Get ready for the next exercise. Do some linear forward jumps over these rocks and talk to Shirley at the other side. Okay, so we've got our route. Do you say route or do you say route? I know some people that use both, actually, when they're talking about, like, um routes for like IP traffic or whatever they'll say route but if they're talking about like uh, bus stops they'll say bus route which just is even more confusing so how as far as whoa what the hell it's, that's what happens when I jump he just that's weird does he land in the same spot sometimes so it's really just the one jump selection. So if you hold it, it doesn't jump further. It's just the one. Right. Almost there. What's that? Oh. Oh. I wasn't supposed to do that. Well, okay. Oh, shoot. I keep expecting to just... I, I was expecting to just fall off of it onto this li lily pad. But I forgot this is a spider. Hello, Shirley. <laughs> well done. The next exercise will strengthen your legs. Push and pull the stones to the area next to me. Okay. Use your spider threads. Let's go. Shoot web, R2. Okay. Uh, oh, that's it. So we just, we got our little targeting reticle. And does it snap? Not really. Okay. 
targeting reticle and press and hold it. And then we drag this stone. Is there more? There is. And you can almost like swing it. Oh, there we go. I like this though. Controls feel very satisfying. The jump is a little janky, but like that that's the jump. He doesn't j jump straight up. He just kind of does that, which is a bit weird. But if you're jumping onto something, like if you're jumping onto uh, the side of a wall, I can understand that. Perfect finish. You're in really good shape. Well, thank you, Shirley. But this is a tutorial. Try not to hit on me. The next challenge exercises your whole body and coordination. Oh, boy. Use your spider threads to swing to the next islands. Okay, now we're talking. So... Is that going to involve a combination of web and jump? Yeah, attach web here and jump. So how far does this web shoot? So right now it's... My targeting reticle is red. I guess I guess that means when something's out of range. So So could I So that's out of range. So that's what his range is. About that much. It's not bad. So we attach web and jump. <laughs> hey. That was all right. Whee! I'm a natural. No, actually, it's not that. It's the controls are easy, fairly intuitive. Uh, oh, what's that? Oh, I'm gonna find out soon. I better not let my curiosity get ahead of me. Oops. This is Joy. Swung well. You can shoot new threads while swinging from tree to tree. This will make you super fast. <laughs> Training is almost over. How do you feel? Show me with an emote. Uh, oh, what's... What did I just choose? Oh, and his eyes move too. Got a little googly eyes. That's one I've seen a lot. Oh, he talks. Look up. Hmm? Hi. Hello, so this spider actually speaks human. Yes. No way. <laughs> hmm? All right, that's that's kind of cute. <laughs> I think my kids would actually like this game. So where am I supposed to go? Oh, wait. I did the emotes. Now I have to talk to Joy again. It's always good to show your feelings. Well, know your audience. <laughs> that's, that's not horrible advice. But there's a time and place. You can't show... I can't, you can't show your feelings about what's happening outside of a workplace, in the workplace. I mean, you can, you shouldn't. But it's not always good to show your feelings. Especially when you're around people you can't trust. Now, go and talk to Spindle at the end of this log. I was trying to see if I can pull myself to the ground faster with uh, that, but that doesn't work. You're doing great. Hey, nice colors. Yeah. Next challenge. We'll train your balance and your spinneret. <laughs> I 
Build a web bridge to this island where two spiders are waiting. Bring them here. Those seem like crappy spiders. Okay, so we have two options here. We have a quick build, which is just press L2, and a manual build. So L1 and R1 set the start point, build web, stop building. Well, let's see how it's done manually. And say there. Wait, what? Hmm. Okay, so I'm guessing I have to just set the start point and then build. Okay, and then... So will this work? Oh, there we go. It's simple. Now let's just try L2 to see how this would work. Oh, that's it. You just point. Oh, that's so... That's so much uh, easier than the way... than doing it manually. But I don't care. I like my bitch... Uh, my bitch. <laughs> I like my bridge better. Hello, small crappy spider. That voice is adorable. Are they coming? Hey, look at them go. Right on. Good job, you did it. One last exercise for you. We locked a spider in this tree trunk. Why? Remove the web and tell it to come out. What did you do? What, what did he? What did the spider do? Why'd you lock it up? Well, yeah. Now that you mention it, it is in there voluntarily. Uh? Here we go. Free the trapped spider. Oh, okay. So again, using the tar targeting radical. Just highlight a strand and press circle. And then it'll snap to the next closest one, so. Oh, it's actually a quick way of doing it. Okay, cool. Congratulations. You finished your workout. Now, go explore the world and having amazing adventures. Thanks, Austin. Why exactly are you in here? That's a good question. <laughs> well, it's an internship. Don't ask me about my salary. Okay. Oh, wait. Actually, no, I do want to go back to the main menu. Let's check Island 1. Uh huh. Oh, I see some quest markers. Whee! Man, who's this? Hello, what's going on? Whoa. We're coll This guy sounds different. And he's got like a campaign cover hat. So maybe he's in the military. He's all green and stuff. Some of them fell into the water. Can you help me get them out of the water and store them here? Why can't you? You're a spider too. Lazy ass. Pull them out with my spider threads. And... Ooh, oop, I got in the way. Oh, there we go. I kind of want to see if I can swing this around. Okay, you can do that. All right. Cool.
It'd be interesting if there was a... Because I know this is supposed to be like a cute, cozy, kind of fun, lighthearted game. But if you played this game using these controls and these game mechanics, but you were at war with like, I don't know, whoever preys on spiders. <laughs> Thank you. You found all acorns. You can be proud of yourself. Well, thanks, Artie. I kind of am. You saved my squirrel friends this winter. I received a blue flower. Hmm. I don't know what the significance of the blue flower is. Oh, who's this? He doesn't have a quest marker, but... I know a beautiful spider named Spiral. <laughs> Maybe I should invite Spiral to a date before someone else does it. Yeah, you probably should. Oh, you're a... You're a fly. Hello, are you cooking something? <laughs> cooking a cherry jam. Do you like cooking too? Bring me some cherries, please. They're hanging up there in the tree. All right. That's going to be outside of my range. Do I have to climb? I'll have to climb the tree to get to them. And that's fine. There we go. <laughs> this is neat. I am enjoying this. Uh, how many does he need? Because I'll just drop them. And then... Oh. I don't actually have to bring them to him. I just need to drop them. Simple. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got a little turned around there. Now, time to see if there's such a thing as fall damage. Nope. Well, we did have a bit of screen shake. Yummy. And this will be an excellent jam. Take that as a thank you. So we've got a blue flower and a green flower. And again, I don't know what the significance is of them. What is this? Sunflower seeds? Oh, yeah, that makes sense because there's... Sunflowers, which we'll probably need for something. All right. Who else needs help? They say there's a storm coming. Doesn't look like it, though. Thanks, Bob. See another spider, bro. Oops. I had a date yesterday. It was really beautiful. Now he doesn't answer anymore. Do you know what this means? <laughs> I'll let you figure that out on your own, lady. And who or what is this over here? Oh, a bee. I can't work anymore. These pollen must be transported to the other end of the island today. Whoa. Are you serious? <laughs> That's a good question. What? That's even more exhausting. Oh, so you're just lazy. Take a break. I'll help you. I can pull the raft to the goal. Oh. So how does this work? Am I supposed to ride it and then pull myself towards objects? Yep. Oh, and then they change. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is kind of cool. This is an interesting way of getting around. Straighten ourselves out a bit. That's too far, but we can pull on that. And I 
get us closer to that log. And we're just gradually pulling ourselves closer. that would be outside of our reach. We're close. I think it's just past this big ass boulder. Yeah, right over there. It's too far though. There we go. Talk to Rosa. So I can just Oh. Huh. That's cool. You can just build a bridge and just sort of park it. It's like mooring lines. Okay. Thank you. But Kiki makes others work for her? Because Kiki's lazy. Well, at least you worked hard. <laughs> so you deserve a reward. So that's three flowers we've gotten so far. And I see a quest over there. Whoa. So, how did it work? Was it, it was L1 and then, ah, screw it. Just use the auto bridge right now because I don't remember how to do it manually. There was somebody over here. I thought I saw an exclamation mark. Oh, yeah. On the leaf. Who this? Little guy. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Okay, I know. Don't worry, I'll save them. Uh-huh. So we're basically just... Oh, shoot. That's a problem. I'm like, oh, I'll just build a bridge to them. Actually, that works. <laughs> so you don't need to do anything when you get to them. You just need to get in range, and then they'll just automatically start... Automatically start following you. Man, this game is kind of relaxing. Low stakes, not too complicated. Controls are pretty, pretty easy to, to work with. The animals are all cute with adorably hilarious voices. Yeah. This is, this is something of a, this would be a palate cleanser. If you're playing a really, really intense game and you're just like, I just need something to kind of just relax to. This might not be a bad option. What, what are you doing? What is your deal? There you go. We're complete now. Thanks a lot for your help. You're welcome, but be more careful next time. Will do. So we got four flowers. I don't know if what I'm collecting these flowers for. And who are you? I've been trying to get into these ruin for a long time. I can't do it! He's really mad. See, there's a hidden treasure. Find the treasure inside the ruins. I love how these guys are all just like, I can't do it, I can't do this, I can't do that. And, and they don't give any explanation for why. They're just like, I just can't do it. It's like, sack up a little bit, buddy. Hey, I'll tell you some nuggets of wisdom. Oh. Paths are created by weaving them. 
Yeah. The way to get started is to quit talking and begin webbing. Niccolo Arachnovelli. I should have known. Let's get a good view here. So, I'm guessing we need to get into that tower. Where is this treasure? He didn't even tell me what it was, but then again, I didn't ask. Is it down there? What's that? What is this? Is this the treasure? I'm guessing this is the treasure. Oh, shoot. What? That was weird. Is this it? There's a gate on the other side. Oh. I probably... Maybe you're luckier than me. That probably is what I needed to get. I just went about it in my own way. Because I think I'm supposed to pull... I think I'm supposed to pull down on this. Yep. Oh. But... Oh, you know what? I should create like a, a bridge. There we go. Now we're talking. Oops. So you you can get hurt. Um Ah, again. Let's pull that door, and let us in. Ooh. These are floor tiles and they're stones. Okay. So let's move this over to shit. There we go. That's one. All right. And number three. Hey, it worked. And what is this? It looks like a a D20. You received the Okay. Yeah. So then what the hell was that egg thing that I found? I thought that would be the treasure. You've done it! Take that as a mark of my respect. So we got five flowers. And I still have no idea what this egg thing is for. Oh, there's another one. Hey, fancy a race? Oh no. I can do that. I can do the route in 50 seconds. Everything is allowed, except touching the ground or plants. Time starts when you swing through the first checkpoint. Oh boy. All right, well, let's give it a whirl. Okay, this is actually kind of fun. Oh shit! No, 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 no. Oh, is that a range? Damn it! <laughs> okay, I like this. All right, here we go.
no, 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 no. <laughs> Damn it. Is that the last one? I was doing so well. Hang on, I gotta put my keyboard down. I have my keyboard on my lap and it's it's always a little bit of a distraction. So that's you know how people have that gamer mode where they lean a little bit forward in their chair in their chair? For me it's putting my keyboard down. Alright, we're gonna do it this time. Feel it in my bones. That was a mulligan. We don't count that one. Starting to go a little wobbly here. Yeah. Did it in just over half the time. Where the hell is he? <laughs> I lost sight of him. Where the hell is he? Oh, crap. Oh, he's over there. All right. Ugh. There we go. Oh, I could really get used to that way of getting around. Your last lap was godlike. Here's something for you because you participated. Not because I won. I don't want your participation trophy. You received a purple flower. Congratulations. You finished all quests on this island. You can now continue to explore the island if you enjoyed playing. Make sure you follow us on social media and wishlist the game on Steam. Way ahead of you guys. This was, this was actually kind of some real lighthearted fun, and I certainly appreciated that. Yeah. The whole thing kept me with a smile on my face. It, everything down to the music, the art style, the voices kept me constantly laughing. Just sickeningly adorable. <laughs> and But the actual... Gameplay was quite fun, especially that web slinging journey. That was a lot of fun. I want to just do that for a good long while. I just want to boot around this entire island. But maybe I will do that on my own time, because we do have one other game to get to. So we're going to put a pin in a webbing journey. We're going to say goodbye to you for now. But I will probably play through the rest of this demo on my own.